Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? I am Dr. Rajat Kandhari from Dr. Kandhari Skin and Dental Clinic, New Delhi. I am a consultant dermatologist. And today I will be discussing a topic which has become very pertinent over the last decade particularly and that is darkness or pigmentation around our mouth area. Now you must have noticed someone close to you, a relative, a friend with darkness around the lips or going all around the mouth like this, right? This has become very, very common and some of the common causes associated with it I'll be covering. Now the first and foremost common cause which occurs is genetic or constitutional pigmentation. Now your mum has it, your mum's mum had it and now you also have it. And in this segment we also have something called pigmentary demarcation lines. Now they appear like almost like an H shaped pigmentation around the mouth. Constitutional or genetic pigment can also occur all around the mouth. So you've got normal skin out here but darkness around in this area. This is typically a little more tougher to treat than normal pigmentation. It is very frustrating for the patient because it becomes better and then it some tends to sort of bounce back. Other causes which are very very common with pigmentation around this area are contact dermatitis. Suppose you're using a red or blue colored toothpaste and it sort of drools down right here, right? It trickles down, your skin reacts to the color or in, the, in your toothpaste and that leads to an eczema or dryness around the area. Now once this inflammation, this dryness and the eczema settles, what happens? There is darkness around the area. So if you have to use a toothpaste and you feel that you've got darkness around the area, please use a white toothpaste, not a colored toothpaste. Thirdly, vitamin deficiencies. Certain vitamin deficiencies such as vitamin B6 and B12 are related with darkness around the mouth and if you are facing this problem, you should get that checked or supplement yourself with the same. Fourthly, certain drugs can cause this problem. Now certain drugs can cause what we call a fixed drug eruption. What is very peculiar about this is that every time you take the same drug, you will get pigmentation not only around the mouth, but also maybe on your lips or inside your mouth in the form of blisters. So if this is happening that you pop in a paracetamol and you get some darkness, think about a fixed drug eruption, see your dermatologist and stop that particular drug. Fourthly, very common is atopic dermatitis or even something called lip lick chelitis or lip smacking. So if you've got a habit of doing this, your saliva drooling down out here, it tends to react with your skin and this repeated motion tends to cause pigmentation in the area. Also, what do we mean by atopic dermatitis? That your skin barrier is compromised. Now, once your skin barrier is compromised, any allergen coming in will break it down and can lead to pigmentation. So you must be careful if you're suffering from eczema or atopic eczema, then see your dermatologist use liberal moisturizer around the area so that your skin barrier remains intact. It doesn't repeatedly break down. Another common issue nowadays is acanthosis nigricans. Acanthosis nigricans is pigmentation not only around your mouth, it can occur on your forehead, it can occur on your neck, your underarms, your groin area, right? And this is typically associated with insulin resistance, it's associated with obesity, and it's associated with an undercurrent of hormones in the form of polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease. See your doctor at the earliest cause just by leading a healthier lifestyle, you know, getting your hormones in check, losing some weight, this pigmentation can settle down, right? So more than anything, what's important is what can we do for all this and how do we really treat it? Now, it is frustrating, it leads to low confidence, low self-esteem. So first and foremost, any dietary changes what we can do are increase our supplementation of B6, B12. Also vitamin C rich foods in the form of kale, spinach, citrus fruits. These can be added to your diet in order to you know, hit the pigmentation hard. Secondly, medical treatment. Medical treatment, what does that consist of? 
medical treatment would consist of hydroquinone, it would consist of azelic acid, your alpha and beta hydroxy acids and kojic acid, so on and so forth. Now please do this under the supervision of your dermatologist. Why do I say this is because when you apply these things around this area, the skin here is a little thin, it's a little compromised. When you apply it, they themselves application themselves can lead to irritation and eczema which can further enhance the pigmentation rather than decrease the pigmentation. So please assess your skin well and use the topical treatment very wisely. Another common thing is that if you're doing recurrent waxing or threading in this area, you need to try and avoid it. The friction of the waxing or the threading in this area will only enhance your pigment. So please make sure you do it in moderation or maybe at some stage consider a laser hair reduction because that will decrease your problem of pigmentation in the area rather than contrary to popular belief, increase it. <clears throat> Further, we've got retinoids which can help, please under the supervision of a dermatologist because they can further lead to dryness, particularly in darker skins that can enhance pigment. Now, if all this is not doing the job and you're really frustrated, then we move to the procedural options. Now, the procedural options, why? Because they tend to penetrate deeper. If this is your skin surface, your pigment is lying here, your applications are penetrating till here, your peel penetrates a little deeper and your laser penetrates even deeper. Now mind you, that does not mean everyone can go in for a laser treatment or a deep peel because when we give heat to the skin, it can even enhance pigment. So this needs to be done cautiously and judiciously. Chemical peels help to resurface or exfoliate the upper skin cells, thereby improving the pigment. A laser toning or laser peel or an IPL treatment can also help in this regard. They can exfoliate and hit the pigment cell and tell it to calm down, thereby giving an improvement in the area. So a combination of these along with your medical treatment would help. Finally, there are other treatments in the form of microderm abrasion and other modalities which also can help to some extent. So I hope this helps in understanding the darkness around the mouth and how we can address it. See your dermatologist, it is treatable, so find the treatment as well as find what is triggering it and address it. Thank you.